and then a right bundle branch block is anywhere along the right branch. Now, think of it as a conduction delay. So, normally, this should look like, well, actually, this should not look like that. That should look like, V1 should look like that. But what happens here is a conduction delay, so you don't get the normal ventricular coordinated right and left ventricle summation to give you that one spike. There's a delay. So you get one ventricle and the other ventricle. That's the way I like to think of it. Okay. So, if it, so this is your uh, V1 lead. So that's the right side. V6 is the left side. There's your right bundle branch, your left bundle branch. And that's all I've written. But the important thing, the take home message, is that there's a bundle branch block regardless of what it looks like. And there's chest pain, work it up for your mind. Anything else? So one o'clock, we're going to use room, uh, two rooms down there on the other end, we're going to use this room. I'll divide it into three groups. We'll spend, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes in each group, and then we'll mega code you at some point during these three groups, so that by, what time is that, 3.30 or so, uh, you will have been mega coded. You'll sit and take your 50 question exam back in here. Um, I'll grade it. Uh, I won't give you a. Did I give you a BLS card? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we copied it upstairs. I'll get the ACLS cards. I mean, I have them, but we'll copy them for your next year because all your rotations will want to see that. And then I'll give the card to you. Okay? I have no idea where that card is. You'll mega code in pairs. You want to do it? You want to do one? You want to do one? Yes. Who's ready to do one? Pick a partner. <laughs> Zane, 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 you're ready. All right, come on back here. Where's that man? Is it back here? Which one? The, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's on. Oh, you can do that. Oh, good. You get to see my lovely face in that. I feel like I'm very close to this. Oh, very. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> I feel like she would be really close. <laughs> oh, that's true, but Sophie can see for those. Crash card, that's what I'm saying. You can see them on there. Okay. So, you guys um, are uh, on your first rotation, and you've got a three year old achondroplastic dwarf with no arms or legs, it was found at the bottom of a swimming pool. Okay. <laughs> okay. So there are a couple of questions here. If they have no arms or legs, how do you know they're an achondroplastic dwarf? What is achondroplasia? A shortening of the long bones of the arms and legs. If they have none, how do you know they have achondroplasia? The size of the head. The size of the head? I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking. Okay. All right. Okay. So, I am a 60-year-old guy, and um, I um, am going in for uh, my uh, de every decade physical exam on the 9th, so I, I, uh, November, right? So I walk in the office, uh, sit in there, fill out the forms, I go in the exam room, I'm sitting there, I'm waiting for the guy to come in, and all of a sudden... 
breathe. Yeah, breathe. And you come walking in the door. Lady, I can't breathe. You gotta help me. I'm about to pass out. You gotta help me. Help me. <laughs> okay. He's saying go. All right. What are you gonna do? Hooked you up to oxygen by now. All right. So. Uh, and checked your pulse. You're gonna hook me up to oxygen. Um, so nasal cannula. Have some oxygen. Let's say nasal cannula. You're gonna hook me up to. How are you gonna hook me up? Am to I oxygen? in a clinic or am I in a hospital? You're in the clinic. Okay. So then. How are you gonna hook me up to oxygen? So first, I'm gonna check if you have a pulse. I have a pulse. It's 160. Okay. So then can we get a 12 lead EKG or do we have the option for We can go get a 12 lead EKG. It's over at Good Shepherd. Okay. You can send me to Good Shepherd. Do I have a monitor mm -hmm. I can put on you at all? You can. There you go. That's what you want to do. Um, so I can't breathe and I'm getting ready to pass out. And you want to hook me up to oxygen. Going back to the original question, how do you want to hook me up to oxygen? With what? these or this? Uh, What's your respiratory rate? Uh, can I have an SPO2? Sorry, I should have put SPO2 on you. It's not. It's ninety-six. Then I would do a nasal cannula. No. Anytime you have chest pain, I'm ready to black out. I can't you breathe. You didn't say you had chest pain. You just said you no, could uh, breathe. Anytime you have chest pain, I can't breathe. You put them on a mask. Okay. Right. So we're gonna we have a mask. Okay. We're gonna hook it up to the bottle of oxygen. Okay. <laughs> Huh? What do you want it set at? 10 to 15. 10 to 15 liters a minute. Okay. What's next? Um, so... We were supposed to hook them up to the Yeah, we have them hooked up to the 12 lead EKG. Uh, again, it's at Good Shepherd. Oh, it's at Good Shepherd. This is a monitor. This is not a 12 lead EKG. Oh, okay, so we don't have that. Um, so get the, the AED. This is a monitor. You can hook him up to the monitor. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. But... What are you dealing with right now? As I, I, I go get the crash cart, I'll go get the crash cart, all right, where this is kept. Mm -hmm. Do you want to keep me sitting in this chair? Just mm -hmm. put him on the floor. Let's put him on the ground or put him on a table. If I'm getting ready to pass out and my pulse is 160, what else do you need to know? My respiratory rate is 40, O2 sets 96. What's the one Your vital sign? The blood pressure. Why am I ready to pass out? Because my systolic blood pressure is 58 over, it's 58. <laughs> okay. okay? Now your crash card arrives and that's what he's in. What okay. is he in? VTAC. He's in VTAC. What type of VTAC? Monomorphic. What type of VTAC? Uh, it is monomorphic. Unstable. Okay. Unstable. What are you going to do for unstable VTAC? Uh, Synchronized. Um, unsynchronized, defibrillation, that's the word I want. Synchronized. Oh, he, well, he does have a pulse, but he's unstable, so you would... wrestle over this. Is it stable, is it unstable, is it unsynchronized or synchronized? It's synchronized. It's synchronized. He has a pulse. He has Anytime a pulse. you have a pulse, it's synchronized, except for torsades, okay? Okay. Grab the paddles. Grab the paddles. You got really, you got really shocking. He looks up at you and says, lady, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh? Do I have to tell him? Well, you can tell I can him. Sedate him. Can you give him verse said? Okay, okay. She says she can sedate him. What is my systolic pressure? Oh, yeah. You no. give me two milligrams no. of verse said, what do you think my systolic pressure is going to so go down? Tank. Dead. Okay? So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> sorry. So what energy level do you. Shock. What? You have your 100. unstable. 100 joules. Yeah. So we're going to make you to 100 joules. Ready? Oh, because he has a pulse. Okay. He has a pulse. You're charged up. I think these are... You got the sternum and the apex okay. right? Okay. What do you need to yell? Because you're leaning clear. off against this. You're leaning. You can get your knee thigh off of there. Are we clear? Is everyone Everybody's clear? clear? Okay. Two things happened right now. One is he went into beat him. The other is the oxygen is blowing across those pads, and you just lit him up. So, always, so I'm dead. <laughs> always remove the oxygen before you discharge paddles or pads, okay? All right, so now he, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, so you went into VFib? He's in VFib now. He's in, okay. Why is he in VFib? Huh? Huh? Did you just hit a T-wave with that? Oh, wait, no, he's synchronized. Never mind. She didn't synchronize. Oh, we didn't oh. press the synchronize. You didn't press the sync button. 
You have to press the sync button if you you said it right, okay. synchronize, but nobody pressed the sync button. Okay. Well, now he's in beacon, so I don't have to. So now he's in beacon. Now you he's dead, so we don't need to do it now. Okay. All right. So if if he is in B fib, mm -hmm. and you've confirmed that by the absence of a pulse, mm -hmm. what does somebody need to be doing? Chest compression. Uh, Taylor, do some chest compression yeah, here. Right. Help these guys out. Yeah, right. All right. So. Okay. One. Oh gosh, this is hot. <laughs> so, this guy, yeah, this guy. One, two, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So. Two breaths. Two breaths. You're, he's on a mask. What do we got to do with his mask? Right. We have to hook it up to positive pressure. Right. One, two. His chest rises, so she's doing 32, 32. Okay, what do we need to do for him? We need to Shock. continue Check to analyze pulse. rhythm, and then after the CPR. You need to do what she said. Shocking. Shocking. You, need, you need to cardiovert him or defibrillate him? We need to defibrillate him. At what energy level? 360, because this is 360, a mono. this is a monophasic, so you need to really light him up. Now, uh, you witnessed him go into cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So you could do what? The cordial thump. Three cordial thump. So like a pulse, no pulse, shocking. Okay. Are you warmed up? You want to keep doing chest compressions while the paddles are being warmed up. How, much, how do I tell if I'm warmed up? Well, you <laughs> press the charge button. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 get on the chest, get on the chest, get on the chest. Ten seconds. That's all you need. No more than ten seconds off that chest, okay? Are you ready? Clear. Are you? Okay. Make sure your thigh is off that table. Okay, you shocked him. So how long is she going to do? Five cycles, two minutes. Eight, two, nine, thirty. Okay. Check pulse. Eight, two, nine, this is the fifth time. Okay, what do we do after the fifth time? Check a pulse, check the rhythm. No pulse, rhythm's the same. Shock, shock again. again. And he can be intubating. Well, we well not while I'm intubating. Yeah. Okay. Did we, we only did one shock did, in VFib. We only did. Know, yeah, for one thing, she needs to be doing chest compressions. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> don't ever stop. If you don't have to be doing chest compressions, the examiner will stop the thing and you'll start all over. If, if nothing else, make him be doing chest compressions. Okay? Make your partner do chest compressions. All right, 32, 32. So you're going to warm them up, right? Because mm -hmm. you're going to shock twice in V-fib, mm -hmm. right? You've only, you shock once in unstable V-tap. Okay. This is the second time in v -fib. Okay. okay, you ready? Nope, no, I am. Okay, go. All right, go. I'm clear again. All right, what's next? More CPR. Check pulse and More CPR for two minutes, five cycles, right? Give it an IV. Give it while you're waiting. IV. We didn't get an IV in Come on, say, start an IV. <laughs> And you can intubate them if you wanted to. The H's and T's is, are de trying to dis determine why they're in that arrhythmia. arrhythmia. The reason they're in that arrhythmia is because you put them there because you didn't hit the sync button. So that's not an H and a T, that's, a, that's an S and a Z. Okay. So, after two shots, what do we need to do? Check pulse. Check pulse. No pulse. Same thing on the Epi. Epi. How much Epi? One milligram. One milligram. One milligram of epinephrine is in. Taylor is doing chest compressions to circulate it to the heart. Mm -hmm. What do you need to be doing? Shock. You need what? Charging. Charging. Charging the paddles. You might as well just, after you shot, hit the charge button. Have them ready to go. Okay? You have to press both buttons. Oh, it's just on the one. Okay. Gotcha. Ready? Your thigh. You're still your thigh. You're good. Right. <laughs> What's next? What's next? CPR always. CPR for how long? Two minutes. Two minutes. Five cycles. Two minutes. Right? 30 to 30. Mm -hmm. 30 to 30. Right. <laughs> when are we doing 15 to 2? 30 to 30. 30 to 32. Right. Adults. Right. 30 to 2. 30 to 2. 32. Five, five cycles later, we check pulse. Mm -hmm. No pulse. No, no change on the monitor. What's next? Amiodarone. Not shock again. No. Amiodarone. 300 amiodarone. 300 amiodarone is yes. in. Okay. She's circulating it. Mm -hmm. Then we shock. shock again. Oh are they charged? No. They already. I love that. I already killed him. It's fine. No, you didn't. He's still in okay. We're good. Ready? Clear. Clear. Okay. What? Oh, yeah, he's clear. in. All right, so Ooh. she's doing chest compressions, right? For how long? Two 
Five, five cycles, cycles to it. So we have a change on the monitor. Uh, yeah. It looks like there's an organized rhythm. And he Bradycardi. had some PVCs. Okay. So it doesn't matter. He has a pulse because she's doing chest compressions. Give HP. You do chest compressions for two minutes. Five cycles. If he wakes up and says, what the hell are you doing to me? Then you can stop chest compressions. <laughs> Otherwise, you do chest compressions for two minutes before you check a pulse. Two minutes later, mm -hmm. we check a pulse. The pulse is about 40, and it's irregular. We need to get atropine. You need to what? Not atropine. In addition to pulse, you need to know what? Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Blood pressure is 80 systolic. So Samantha wants to give atropine. Mm -hmm. How Zane much? Zane wants to give atropine. <clears throat> Zane wants to give atropine. How much atropine? Uh, 0 0.5 milligrams. 0 0.5 milligrams of atropine is in. And what do you want to do about the pressure? Uh, give dopamine. It'll take me about 30 minutes to mix up dopamine. To oh, How long does it take? To, if I'm going to tell you, can I just give him a liter? <laughs> saline? Oh, I know. How long will it actually take you to get that rolling? 30 minutes at least. Yeah. At least 30 minutes. Hey guys, to get the look, dopamine. He's in <gasps> to get the dopamine running okay. at. Can we bolus fluids? That's the correct thing to do. Bolus with fluids. If you have a closed vascular system, you put more fluids in there, you increase the pressure. That's somebody's law. It's like Andrew's law. Okay? Okay. How much fluid? Um, hang a liter and open it up. One to two liters. One to two liters of, of what? Normal saline. Or a crystalloid. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, we've got 0.5 of atropine in. We've got a liter of fluids in. What's next? What's um, what, the NHA? Reassess yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, his rate's up to about 70. Mm -hmm. yeah. His pressure is 105. Okay. They're here to take him to the CCU. Yeah, he's fine. Is he breathing on his own? He's breathing on his own. Okay, so we did it. Stable. He's still not conscious, but he's breathing on his own. Okay. Do you prepare for the Put temperature? Him on a mm -hmm. Of what? Amiodarone. How much? Point two to two. Is what? 0.2 to 2. It's 0.2 to 2 what? Milligrams, milligrams over six per hours. minute. Drips are always over time. Milligrams per Start minute. Start at one milligram per minute. Okay. If you're still seeing PVCs, increase it to one and a half. If you start dropping his blood pressure, drop the drip rate down to 0.5. Okay. And let's get him out of here. Okay? Where'd he go? You did not totally kill him. Yeah. Only half right. killed him. Did, all right. Damn <laughs> it, I didn't hit the finger button. I know. Do you know how to turn this off? What's that? Don't you get blue?